Outdoor readers, my name is Whitney Knitter and in honor of Women in Engineering Day, I wanted to take you through my current lab setup and talk a little bit about what it's like to be a woman in engineering. So my current lab bench setup uh, in terms of things that I use on a regular basis are going to be my little ESD mat with ESD protection. I have a power supply here, so 30 volt, 5 amp seems to kind of encompass everything I need. Um, I have a couple different options for USB oscilloscope that also other, offer other functionalities such as a spectrum analyzer and analog waveform generator. These in particular are the Digilent Analog Discovery series. And then I also have my soldering station as well as all of my various component bins. Um, I did pull down a few of my favorite projects from recent history that, to highlight, uh, the first of which being my Harry Potter newspaper here, powered by a Raspberry Pi Pico to drive a little e-ink display and cycle through photos to kind of get that GIF movement effect. Um, I also have the Krea KD240 here. I've been working on some basic tutorials for driving a BLDC or brushless DC motor. And then finally, my favorite reoccurring project that I kind of have going every year is the Lego Robot Defender, which is kind of like a fancy Roomba or basic Roomba, whichever you want to say. Uh, so I'm using Edge Impulse to create my machine learning algorithm for obstacle avoidance with my little jack-o'-lantern pumpkin obstacle. Um, the past couple revisions have been on a Krea FPGA. I have the Raspberry Pi swapped out temporarily for now to hone in that machine learning algorithm, which brings me to one of the questions I've been asked is, what do I think is the big up and coming thing for engineers to learn or pay attention to? And that is the machine learning um, slash AI. I think it's very important to understand uh, what is a machine learning algorithm, how to train one, all those basics. There's a lot of really great um, tools for beginners to get into that have basic pre-built pre -built models that you can input your own data to, the first of which being the Edge Impulse Studio. TI, uh, AI in the cloud is another great one. Um, so yeah, definitely pay attention to machine learning and at least understand the basics. As far as uh, the next question I got, which was, how did I get into engineering? Um, that really kind of started with uh, when I was in high school trying to decide what I wanted to go to college for. I knew that I needed to stay within something that involved math and science because those were my favorite courses. That ultimately led me to engineering. And after playing around with a bunch of the different disciplines between mechanical, civil, I settled on electrical engineering, which I really love, I love the problem solving of it. Um, that's just how my mind works. It's kind of like a constantly solving puzzles uh, type of thing, which um, is, I think the biggest thing you need as an engineer is just have, um, need, you need to have that mind of wanting to ask questions, uh, wanting to solve things, really stick, uh, stick through to get that answer you're looking for. And as far as how do we get more women in STEM or women in engineering? Um, I think a lot, of, a lot of us have that mindset. And I think the biggest advice I have after having been in industry for about 10 years is don't be intimidated or afraid to ask questions, which honestly applies to everybody. But I feel like there is a little bit more of that intimidation, when you, especially when you first get into the industry as a woman. But don't be afraid. The only bad question is no question, really. And engineering is really just a place to learn it's not some people like to kind of treat it like a competition of who's smartest but really it's just a tool to learn we're all here to have fun um, pick projects that are interesting to you don't try to force yourself into a project that isn't interesting to you just because you feel like it fits some sort of like engineering stereotype if that makes sense um, but yeah engineering is a tool that you use to solve your specific problem so Pick something interesting, explore it, ask questions, don't be afraid to reach out to those around you, and feel free to DM me with any questions. I try to respond as many as possible, and also find great resources like Elector Magazine, where you're already at. So, happy Women in Engineering Day!